In terms of the initiative that's been launched today, it's great to see the government really step up to support the high growth community across the UK. Uh, we've seen the announcement of 1.25 billion of um, capital being made available to high growth startups across the UK. Now, 750 million of that is going to be deployed through Innovate UK, and then 500 million is a part of a, the future fund, which will be match invested by private investors. So that means 250 million of government money will go in alongside 250 million of private investment through convertible loan notes as a structure. It's clear that this facility has been designed specifically to bridge equity gaps, uh, which is what a lot of companies are struggling with in this space. Um, I think the structure of the facility being a convertible loan note really facilitates that through not needing to have an, an exact valuation of the business at the time that the facility is deployed. Another key area is the fact that it will be managed through match funding so that private investors will be doing the due diligence on a lot of the companies in order to be able to access this government support. Convertible loan notes are a type of short-term um, debt that can be converted into equity at a discount to the next valuation of the business. The benefit of convertible loan notes is that when it's difficult to understand what the valuation of a business is, like it would be in this current economic climate that we're seeing, um, it means that the price is actually determined by the next valuation date for the where, where a company is raising equity. The interest rate that's been defined in the high-level commercial terms of the convertible loan note structure is 8%. Um, that seems to be pretty uh, on market with what we've seen in the past. I think um, one of the things to, to draw out, though, is that that, that is non-compound interest. So that means that the interest is charged on an annual basis on, on just the uh, initial amount of capital. So whilst it rolls up and is repaid at the end of the facility in cash, it's not going to be compounded, so you don't pay interest on the interest and the capital in year one, for example. Um, the other thing to note about that is that that interest is paid in cash at the um, point of conversion, which is important because it means that there's not additional capital being converted into equity in your business. The discount rate that's been set within the commercial terms of this, uh, of this scheme is 20%. Again, that seems pretty on market from what we've seen in the past around where a convertible loan note would sit. Uh, and what that means is that at the point that this debt converts into equity, it converts at a 20% discount rate to the valuation that's set at that point that the further funds come into the business. These facilities will be used for working capital, so they won't be able to be um, repaying existing debt in the business. But there is a point around negative pledge, which in indicates that a company that does have debt funding can still access this scheme. But that's something we will look to get further clarity on. On balance, this seems like a really great signaling tool to the market to unlock private investment and also provide bridging capital, which is what these startups and high growth companies really need. Um, I think where we need to understand the detail more is around that conversion piece and, and really understand whether the, the government will want to take uh, positions in these companies uh, through that conversion of the, of the debt of the loan note or whether they'll be looking to seek repayment at the end of the facility. And that's something that we'll, we'll look at um, getting more detail on as we see more information come out from the Treasury. <laughs>